So building the list, the college list strategically. I'm not a big believer in just putting a list together and applying. So I have had kids that said, well, I want to go to Columbia, but I want to major in business. One problem with that strategy, Columbia does not have an undergraduate program in business. That's a big problem. Right? They have an MBA program, but they don't have an undergraduate. Why would we do that? But sometimes they're just going on name recognition, and that's how they're applying. So I work on major, find academic reputation of that particular school and that particular major or majors, and then we build a list that way. I don't think you have to lock into one major, two, I've had some students, three, some were pre med, some were bio med engineering, some were. Applied math, computer science. So they had those three as their and we listed schools under each of those buckets. I think it's dangerous to just have one strategy and multiple schools under the one strategy. I think it's confusing for the student. I also think their minds could change, and all of a sudden we got to start all over again on building the list, doing the research. Let's do the research once. Let's make sure that that a school, if you do want to transfer. You could transfer within the school and just take a different major. Make sense? So if you're not really, like I have some students think business, 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 and they're maniacal. Their father's an entrepreneur, owns his own business. He or she is going to run their business after. And then they say, well, I'm thinking about applying to Babson. Babson has one major, business. If they change their mind, they will transfer out. But with this particular kid, putting Babson on the list made sense. Plus, we have other schools with the program. Right? Bounds. I kind of went through that in the beginning. Bounds meaning I don't think it's a good list if you don't have some reach schools on there. So if by a reach I mean maybe my SATs don't quite match, but my GPA is maybe offset a little bit. So I'm going to apply to Stanford. I have a lot of programs at other schools. If I get in there, I'm going to go. Even though I may not be a practicing environment engineer, I eventually want to go to med school, but I can go to med school as a environment engineer. And I got a great, great option here. Going to work, going to med school. Social fit. You want to make sure that there's and, and I, I really make a big point of this for students. When you're walking on the campus, make sure there's people that look like you. Some schools are very, very white. You're not going to be uncomfortable there. I don't care how much, well, my school is pretty, pretty white. I'm talking snow. You can feel uncomfortable. You want to make sure there's a religious connection somewhere, or that there's some way that this school is accepting a multicultural. It says something if everybody in there looks like me. No offense to me. So you want to make sure there's a good fit. So connection. You want to make sure that the school has great connections to the employment market. Recruiters come on the campus, it's held in high regard, good starting salaries. You can get that information on, online. Like Stevens Tech in Hoboken, one of the highest starting salaries in the country for first year engineers. It's got a throwaway line of name, that makes sense. Some people may like Stevens, may not like them, but they pay them well and they graduate from there. It's their proximity to New York City, to Manhattan. Hoboken is a hip happening place. So it's where they're located oftentimes. Okay? And then can I get into grad school? Can what is their placement rates at med school? At you want to make sure that you know these ask those kinds of questions on your tours, on your visits. This was a question I think you were kind of talking. 
earlier. So how do I measure up? So, so GPA, how can I find out what my GPA is in comparison to other people who have been accepted at that particular school? So most of the children from Freehold definitely has an audience. There's electronic software that allows you to compare your child to other children who have graduated from their particular high school, what their GPA was, what their SATs were, what their ACTs were, and you can kind of do some leveling of what are my chances of getting in. All right, so you get a little scatter. Um, yeah, it's, it's called Naviance, N-A-V-I-A-N-C-E. A lot of schools, most schools have it. I have access to it, so if, if, if you need to get on to do some, they have personality surveys on there, career surveys, but they also have this comparing your child to other children in their school district. That, that I think, is most schools in New Jersey are either getting it or have it already. Um, but you can always go on the website of any college you're interested in. So say we're looking at Hopkins, you can look and see what was the incoming freshman class GPA. What was the number of AP courses they took? What was their SAT reasoning scores, the range? The numbers of applications accepted. On that college's website, they will document all that stuff. So if you just say, okay, how do I compare? What do I think my final SAT scores are going to be? What do I think my final GPA is going to be at the end of junior year? What do I think? And then lay that out and say, okay, this is a reach school, this is a target school for me, or would it be a safe? Does that make sense? So you a lot of this will take a little investigation or research on, on your versus your children and you doing some research on this to really plot it out, maybe make a scattergram about what are the expectations for these schools and going in knowing this is a reasonable for me. This is a target for me. Um, some students say, I want to go to the University of Virginia, or I want to go to the uh, University of North Carolina Chapel Hill. And it's a state school, it's going to be easier. Being at a state and applying to UNC or UVA or University of California, Berkeley, is a lot more competitive as an out of state student. So know that going in. So you'll see acceptance rates. A certain number, realize if it's you're an out of state student, it's a lot higher for you to get into that same place. Okay? Um, so, what kind of award and recognitions do these students have? They typically talk about how many national number of finalists, Intel scholars, Westinghouse science winners, blah, blah, blah. They don't talk about it because they're using their students to market to future students. So all the data you need for a specific college you're interested in should be on their website. 